Okay then, let's go over everything you need to know about Tundralon. Starting off with the typing line, Tundralon is a pure ice type like all of the Olivari evolutions, they're just all pure typing, so there's not really too much to talk about its typing, but in case you don't know, ice is weak to fire, metal and brawler, and resists type plus ice and air type. So yeah, not exactly an amazing typing, we've already seen it before on Wobblisk and Mocho, but it's a pure ice type, I guess. For the stats line, Tundralon has 91 health, 86 energy, 91 melee attack, 130 melee defense, 61 range attack, 66 range defense, and 50 speed. So, fairly similar to, I guess, Hember overall, a very slow melee heavy bulky, so it can take a lot of melee hits. Doesn't really want to stand against range attackers, especially the ones that you're weak to, like, you know, Fire Breath, Metal Blast, and what else is it weak to? Range, I guess, Boom Bash, but not that many Lumis have it. Also, for melee, attacks you probably don't really want to stay against a wrestling especially the ace wrestling because it's gonna hit you still really hard so yeah pretty like decent overall can definitely take a lot of hits if you're careful with it okay but anyway next let's go over the abilities okay then now let's go on to the abilities the first ability is actually a new ability called insulated you get this one from the apprehension var basically what insulated does is it makes you resist fire and ice so if you can take into consideration tundland's typing already being pure ice it'll make you quad resist ice and it'll change your fire weakness into neutral. So it's a pretty cool ability. Probably wouldn't really recommend it on Tundralon, but hey, we have it in the game now, so hopefully something else in the future can get it and make more use of it. The second ability is Mysterious Cloak, which you can get by evolving a Vari with the Guardian ability. We've already seen this ability on Metronet before. For the ability, basically, you can only take damage from direct damaging attacks. Whereas if you get like sap planted, poison, burnt, or entry hazards, you won't take damage from them. So it basically gets rid of all of the passive damage, basically. So a really good ability for like anti stall, I guess, for a tundra lun, so nice. And the secret ability, the final ability, is gonna be resilience, which we've already seen before as well on stuff like Obsidragon and Barok. Basically, whenever you take damage from a move, you will get a melee defense increase, which is gonna be really, really good for one of the moves. Which next up, let's go over the moves. And finally, onto the moves lens. So every variant evolution it gets these moves as a level up, which is gonna be your strike, dawdle, quick pounce, stretch, spare. Headbutt, Power Focus, and Body Slam. And for the specific, unique moves for a Tundralun, it's going to be Adapter Assault Ice as a evolution move, which just gives you a 20% chance to freeze the opponents. Pretty simple if you look at, like, Vendelon, I guess. Uh, and then for the other moves, I guess, by level up, is going to be Chili Chomp at 26, Bull Cup at 29, Icicle Trap at 32, Body Crash at 36, which is a new move. It's basically a Brawler Battering Ram. It's a little bit weaker, and it also doesn't have the secondary effect of lowering the opponent's melee defense, so it's just like an alternate version of it. And then at 41, it gets Ice Hammer. For the move manuals then, it gets Dodge, Rejuvenate, Ill Will, and Frost Beam. So, hey, a bulky ice type that has Rejuvenate? Dang, that's pretty good. And then for Rally moves, every variant only has one, which is Bait, so... You can probably use it in doubles or 2v2s, but I don't know if you really want to. I mean, it has Rejuvenate, so I guess it could run it effectively, but it's a pure ice type. It doesn't really resist that much. And that's everything you need to know about Tundralon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.